Okay, ladies and gents, boys and girls, what's going on? Happy Friday, TGIF. Appreciate you all tuning in. I'm Chris Phillips, your host of the Daily Crow of the Spurs Up Show. Again, as you can see, things a little bit different here on this Friday. We're going to get in some Road to Glory. Uh, we might start doing Road to Glory Fridays. Heck, I don't know. You know, I, I just kind of do what I feel, man. I kind of do what I feel. And I was sitting there this morning, and I was like, you know what? We've reached the quote-unquote offseason. Six Gamecock baseball players have hit the transfer portal. Doom and gloom surrounds the Yardcocks. And I got to be honest, that is the last damn, apparently. Streamlabs had to update, so had to wait on that, and then was just getting everything set up. So I do apologize that I'm a few minutes late, but uh, better late than never, I guess. Luke RJ, what's going on? Appreciate you. Brennan M., Travi, Colton Carnell, Tony Sharp. Again, Austin Greer, Justin Langford, Lance, Travis Allen. What's up? Appreciate you all tuning in. Like I said, guys, we're going to have some fun here on this Friday. Play a couple of games of Road to Glory. And also, we'll also still take your questions, your comments. 843-790-3377. Guys, it's 843-790-3377. The phone lines are open, so you're more than welcome to call in. You can text in your questions. Panic Ritter says, why would those guys transfer? They may get playing time next season. I hope Kingston cares. He can kiss my ass and F you, Mark Kingston. Thank you, Panic Ritter, for that fantastic, insightful comment, as always. Um, why do they transfer? Uh, you know, Panic Ritter, here's the thing. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So, I can't tell you for certain why they left. I can't tell you for certain what's going on. Is it playing time? Did they get cut? Is Mark Kingston clearing room on the roster for JUCO guys and transfer guys? I, I don't know. Maybe all of the above. Uh, so, none of us know. It's 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 dangerous to assume, Panic Ritter. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't know. But either way... My two cents on everything. I'll go on record and tell you that uh, I think right now, I, I think Mark Kingston's back as head coach because my buddy made a really, really good point. You know, with these guys transferring, what they do after a season's concluded is you have end-of-year meetings with players, right? And, and you just assess their season that was. You let them know where they stand in the ball club, what their role is, how you see them fitting in moving forward. And so a lot of the reason that guys transfer is because um, a lot of the reason guys transfer is because, you know, they are told, hey, you're not going to play here. Your role is no longer being a contributor. You might want to look elsewhere. Or they get cut, right? Or they get cut. And so with that being the case, if Mark Kingston's having those end-of-year meetings, guys, he's not having those end-of-year meetings to get fired. Like, he's going to be back. He's going to be back. So... I hate it as much as you. I think it's the wrong move. I think it's pathetic. I think it's despicable. I think it's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. But, uh, you know, here we are. So, I I don't know what we can really do about it, guys. It is what it is. And I guess we've just got to suck it up and settle for the fact that that Gamecocks Athletics as a whole is a complete fucking shit show outside of what Shane Beamer's building and what Dawn Staley is doing. So, I mean, it just is what it is, I guess. Um, Travi says, I have a question. I got a notification yesterday saying your comment goes against our community standards. I said, what up, Chris and Tin Roof? What the hell is that about? I, I had Travi, I have no idea. I have no idea. I didn't do anything. I didn't mess with anything. Uh, if somebody can, by the way, let Rebecca know that we are about to play Tennessee, she's going to be so upset when she sees that uh, that we're playing Tennessee and she, she missed it. So hopefully somebody can let her know that we're playing Tennessee, but whatever. Wow, look at Tennessee's record. Look at Tennessee's record. Oh, Dalton, where is Dalton? Where is Dalton? Love this. I'm literally like, I'm literally reaching out to Dalton right now. Tennessee is owed it because we just lost to Arkansas. Here, let's jump to the phone lines here. Call from Brian Lattimore. Brian, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. Just having a Friday. What's going on? Just wanted to throw your question your way, and I'm going to take it off the air. But uh, now that the baseball season's concluded, you know, we've had to talk about how they may not want to replace Kingston because it's obviously going to be a third major coach in two mm-hmm. years, right? Right. So it's obviously looking like he might be retained. But I wanted to ask you and get your opinion. Now that we've seen both the basketball season and the baseball season conclude and how they concluded, 
We call for both coaches' heads. We got one of them at this point. Do you think we got the right one? You know, if we could go back. The call, man. Thanks so much. And that's a great question. And the answer is, yeah, I, I, I would uh, – if I could go back, if, if you would have told me, if I would have known I could only have one guy fired and I knew the results of both seasons – thousand percent would have made the mood on Kingston instead of Martin because because here's the thing I know the basketball job's a tough job I I understand it is right I'm not saying that a move wasn't needed <clears throat> I'm not saying a move wasn't needed but Martin Martin is is falling was falling short of expectations that we're sort of setting but we've never really hit before I mean, Kingston's falling short of the mark for a program that should be winning. Like, I I love these people I'm seeing on Facebook that are like, well, man, you know, we're just Carolina Athletics and we just lose and it is what it is and we'll get them next year. It's like, but here's what you don't get. When it comes to Gamecock baseball, like, we don't lose. Like, and I'm not just making this up. We don't lose. The numbers reflect it. Four seasons. At under 500 since 1964. Hadn't happened since 1996. Like, I'm not just making this up. These are like real hard numbers. Look at the history of the program. The tri- Like, baseball has real tradition. And we're not talking since 2000. I'm talking since like 1970. This program has been elite for 50 years. This program's been elite for longer than I've been alive. So when it comes to like what Kingston's doing, he, he's not he's not just desecrating what happened in 10 and 11. Bro, he's shitting on what's happened for the past 50 years with the results he's putting out there. So while I, I, I thought it was time with Martin, you know what? You just kind of feels like you're doing the same thing over and over and over. You're spinning your wheels and, and you know, we needed to change something up. Yeah, I mean, Brian, to be totally honest with you, if I could go back and I knew I could only have one of two, I'm a 1,000% making the move on Kingston instead of Martin. And that's not to say again, basketball doesn't have tradition. Basketball doesn't even have expectations. Right? Dead last. Dead last in the SEC. Um, Travis Allen saying something about the, the, the feed. Not <clears throat> so guys, we are ranked 18th, by the way, in case you did not know. Um, I think all black against Tennessee is a move. I think all black. I, I feel like playing them. We rock all black and things go well. So again, guys, as you could tell, the phone lines are open here on this Friday, eight four three seven nine zero three three seven seven. And we're having a bit of a, bit of a casual Friday, bit of a casual Friday. Um, playing some Road to Glory. Still taking your questions and your comments, everything else. I would love to hear from you all. But, uh, you know, man, I was just sitting there. I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? Well, Luke RJ, then don't watch, my guy. Luke RJ, don't watch, my guy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we we I, Luke RJ, I literally um let's maybe a two or three or four. I, the problem is, dude, I have Spectrum and I, I literally can't pay for a faster internet. I, I pay a hundred dollars a month for my internet for the fastest one available. So I, I don't know what else Luke RJ I can do. If you want to be my tech guy. You want to run IT? Luke RJ, you can bring your ass right down to Columbia, and I'm more than welcome to have you be the IT guy for a for a, pi- a price of free 99 per month. Free 99 is what I'll give you. You can be my IT guy. So, First and the the stream yesterday. I don't know. We're, we're trying. We're trying. So, I guess it's, I guess if it's unwatchable, I'll just play this game for two hours by myself and, and talk to myself for two hours. And just, I don't know what to tell you. Man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's, trust me, bro. It's it's frustrating to read that message, Luke RJ. I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to come at you, but it is frustrating. Uh, 
Travis Allen said he's heard two words in five minutes. I don't know. Uh, BC Mobley must hear me because he's commenting. What roster are you running? SG1 Sports. We're on PlayStation 3. Uh, BC Mobley, if I sent you my PS3, could you hook me up with revamped? Uh, for a price. Yeah, for a price. I, I wouldn't do it for free. Call for a price. Luke RJ. Here we go. Luke RJ, the IT expert. What's up, man? Hi, right, man. I'm not trying to criticize you or anything. I don't know if it's, if it's my phone or my internet, but I can't, I can't even hear you. Luke, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, for free 99, you can be my IT guy. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain. Maybe you need to get a maybe you need to get a Orbi uh, router. You know, Orbi really router, ones, like three hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't even know what an Orbi like router is. Like three hundred dollars. Send, send me the link. I have no clue what that they're is. Pretty good. They're on Amazon. They're like a they're like a booster Wi-Fi thing. But uh, well, I, Columbia, because everybody in Columbia is trying to infiltrate my my Wi-Fi. Think Kingston, Must Champ, you know. So maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Um, well, so how, how's that uh, SEC unfiltered um, thing going? I, I feel like it's going great, man. It's uh, I, I think it's going great. Yeah, it's just it's just the start. I mean, it's just in its infancy, but uh, yeah, the, the the reception has been positive, and and like I said, man, it's just the very beginning. So myself or work myself to death, but you know the uh, the other. All the time and energy I can put towards SEC Unfiltered, I'm going to create as much valuable content as I possibly can. And I said, you know, the reception's been great. I mean, when you when you keep it in perspective and think that when I started TSUS, it took me, uh, you know, it, it took me a, a full calendar year to hit a thousand followers on Twitter, and we did that in three days. So I would say things are going pretty damn well. Um, so. Just taking it really one day at a time, man. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are starting. So, yeah. That's cool, man. So, uh, what do you what, what have you been thinking about? Uh, you been watching the the SEC tournament? Tennessee seems like Tennessee's they're the real deal, man. Yeah, no, dude, Tennessee's good. They're just a really good ball club. And <clears throat> the only, I mean, here's the thing. The only question is, I, I, I think when you look at the the, the the 2022 season as a whole, like Tennessee's the best baseball team in the country. There's just no question. I mean, they are. Their body of work shows it. Their, their record shows it. But, you know, in baseball, the best team doesn't always win, man. It's just who's playing the best baseball at that time. Um, because, you know, last year, Arkansas. Arkansas was that no-brainer team. Arkansas was that, was that um you know, was that team we all thought was going to go all the way. And, you know, they, they lose to uh, to NC State in the Supers. So, um, I'll be honest with you. Right now, if I, if I could bet on it, Tennessee versus the field, I'd probably take the field just because, just because it's so hard. I mean, I feel like they'd be basically – but. I mean, they've been the best team in college baseball. So they, they don't they don't have a lot of weaknesses, man. They really don't. They're a really good team. They're fun to watch. Um, but, you know, we'll see if they can keep it up. But A&M, they were my pick to win. they got a really good ball club, and they're, they're really hot right now. So, yeah, it'll be fun to watch the weekend. Four games today. I know Florida-Arkansas right now. I think Florida's up 2 nothing. last I saw. So, I'm just glad to have some uh, – But do you remember, do you remember when I think it was like – Oregon State, they like a couple years ago, they only had like five losses the whole season, and yep. they ended up like not. I, I think they made Omaha maybe, <clears throat> but they didn't. They didn't win at all. But they were the rock. The whole field is not a very good bet. Like just the odds. But man, they what? They're 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 a good team. You know, they they, they really don't have. They they really don't have like a glaring weakness. You know what I mean? Their rotation's filthy. They, they swing it as good as anybody in the country, you know, play good defense. So, they got a great head coach. So, Tennessee's legit, man. I think Tennessee's elite for sure. Tennessee is is, is the real Second deal. Down and six. Ball on the 49. So, what's the score of the uh, the Road to Glory game right now? It is 13 to nothing us. Now he's scrambling. 13 to nothing us. Yeah, no, on a serious note, though, Luke, I, I dude, I have, I have no idea, man. Technology's great until it isn't. Like I said, I, I pay for the most expensive Wi-Fi I got. It's worked. Uh, maybe I can get somebody else. It's, it's, uh, somebody else that's not Spectrum. But 
I don't know. Over the last week, it's just been strange. I've been having some really interesting technical First issues and just some weird shit point happening. Point so I, I don't know really what that means, but whatever. It is what it is. Well, I've got a couple ideas for you. I've got... Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. May not, may not be your sitting. It's just uh, your... your, your signal maybe going bad or something or the company's router or whatever i can send you a link but <clears> one, <throat> one last question i want to see yeah. if uh if uh rebecca can because they're big Tennessee fans <laughs> yeah and i i, I but, don't know uh, rebecca's you know, gonna hate she missed this yeah so with uh with the sec built on filter thing like to to get other fans from like other schools, like paying attention to your content for a, a, throughout the whole country. Like, how do you how do you go about that with all your followers from the Spurs up? So do you try to like comment on? I mean, do you comment on other teams like you know posts and stuff like that, or or you know, what, what's some secrets you got? I mean, I don't think there's really a secret, man. I think it's just you just create content talking about other teams. Um, and this will become even more prevalent uh, as we get closer to football season. You know, when I, when I drop predictions, not just for South Carolina, but the entire SEC, right? I mean, predictions and stuff like that, lists. I mean, look at what Big Game Boomer's done, right? They move the needle. Ranking, you know, I'll, I'll drop my own, like, position unit rankings, for the SEC, player rankings for the SEC. You know, just creating content that, that that encompasses the entire conference instead of just South Carolina. So, you know, I mean, I built TSUS off of consistent content creation. And, I mean, I'm going to do that exact same approach with SEC Unfiltered. I mean, obviously engaging with fans of other schools is a great way to get the word out there. But, for example... I've had a good bit of Tennessee fans, you know, a fair amount at least, follow the SEC Unfiltered account because, you know, I was tweeting about their baseball game last night. We're doing the SEC countdown to kick off, and the, and the, the countdown video today is from the Tennessee-Missouri game, tie on Ev with TSUS. All of the content I create, create under the TSUS platform is Gamecocks-focused, right? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not really like a secret. It's, um... It's just creating content like yesterday. You know, yesterday I posted a clip on SEC Unfiltered about Kentucky football. You know, so obviously that's going to engage and attract Kentucky fans and just fans of the conference in general. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, I just believe, man, like I said, in consistent content creation. And I'm certainly not going to be creating content to the level of which I do TSUS. You know, I'm, I'm probably not going to be posting nine or ten times a day. But, you know, I'd like to be posting it at minimum three to four, you know, as much as I possibly can. Cause like, but like I said, I'm not going to – sacrifice the quality in the work of TSUS to, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to produce as much valuable content as I can with the SEC Unfiltered platform. But, you know, obviously TSUS right now is still going to be the number one priority. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's the beauty of it, man, is like I say before, the joy is in the journey and it's going to evolve as it goes. And so I don't have all the answers right now, but that's sort of the beautiful thing, man. It's it's It wouldn't be quite as much fun, you know what I mean, if you had all the answers up front. So... Um, I'm excited, man, especially obviously for – I'm glad I went ahead and started and getting this thing fired up because, you know, getting ahead of it before football and going in the preseason. And like I said, I, I've already got my preseason content planned for TSUS. Literally every podcast I'll do, every basically piece of content I'll make damn near uh, is planned out. And, and I'll do the same thing with uh, – I'll do the same thing with – uh, the SEC unfiltered stuff, man. You know, put together a game plan. When you make mass amounts of content, you've got to have a game plan put together. So I'll have that game plan put together, and uh, yeah, I'll be talking about basically every team, man. Like I said, locking in predictions and, and rating players and, and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, man it's it's, it's so fun. Is the schedule for the, is the schedule for your podcast going to be like, uh, forever, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday for South Carolina, and Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, for, that that you know that yeah that that seems to be you know when I when I when I scaled I say scaled back you know when I, when I went from five shows five podcasts per week to three it felt you know it, it I didn't do it specifically for like the SEC unfiltered obviously that didn't even exist yet um, 
you know, I just did it because five podcasts a week was overkill. It, it was. I mean, I, I was I was really stretching it thin in regards to like, you know, I was doing like a two 15 minute shows on Thursday, Friday when it's like I could just do one 25 or 30 minute show on Friday and, and accomplish the same thing. Um, so it was a little bit of overkill. And again, I, th I think it was the right move. Um, but yeah, I certainly had that in mind that, you know, I wanted to start this SEC entity and, and, uh, you know, I'm going to, I was going to need some time to do it. You know what I mean? Just flat out need some time to do it. Cause like I said, I'm just one person. So, um, yeah, I, I think the three podcasts per week for TSUS, it fits really well. It works on my schedule. And then of course, like I said, I've got Tuesday, Thursday to drop the SEC show, which, you know, two shows per week is, is two podcasts per week is a good number. I mean, that's what most of the big time shows or big shows are doing. Um, three per week is considered quote unquote a lot. And then five per week, I was just going way over the, a little bit over the top, but, uh, and, and especially when you got the daily crow, the two hour live stream. So yeah, I, th I think moving forward, man, I'm, I'm really, you know, comfortable with that schedule. Could things change? I mean, certainly they're always changing, but now I'm, I'm comfortable with that schedule and that's, that's going to be the game plan. Certainly moving throughout. And I would expect all the way through football season and, um, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, if you like hearing the sound of my voice, right. you'll have you'll have plenty of opportunities to do so. That goes for anybody because there'll be a, <laughs> there'll be a podcast every single day. So uh, it's gonna be fun, man. I you know I, I love doing the podcast. I love making content. So it's it's gonna be a lot of fun for sure. So. Yeah, I think uh, what a lot of people like about the Daily Crow is that you, you get to interact with and, and you know express your opinions about you know teams that you care about. You know, such mm. as South Carolina. So. Yeah. No, I love that, too. Yeah, I, I love that, too. I, I like I said, I, I do the Daily Crow for, you know, it's it's more so for, for you guys. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, I, I enjoy it and I get content out of it. But, you know, I, I like the interaction. <clears throat> the beauty's in the banter. I wouldn't do it if it was just me talking to myself because that's what the podcast is. So, I love – dude. my – preferably, what I'd like the Daily Crow to be is just calls just nonstop. It's just calls wire to wire. So, I, no, I, I love that side of it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I I went back. I didn't watch it live, but I went back and watched the the, day, the Daily Pro from yesterday, and you were talking about ideas or people had ideas, and I think I mean if you decide not to do the regular Daily Pro like during the season this past year, we all need to you know figure out what what would uh, just try to come up with some ideas that everybody would want to do, you know. So yeah, I mean I, so I can I can tell you this. I I don't think the Daily Pro is going to go anywhere, man. It's I mean. I, Certainly, I, you know, I'm, I'm not – I'm someone that's open to evolving and changing. Obviously, I do it all the time. But, um, <clears throat> you know, before the Daily Crow existed, I always wanted some sort of live show, some sort of daily thing. And so, you know, to to be doing the Daily Crow, for, dude, it's such a blessing for me. I mean, I, I, I really just – I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously – I mean, it's, it's a major, major part of my daily routine. And it's, it's been a game changer for business. I can honestly say that. It's been a game changer for content. Um, so I, the Daily Crow is not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to say that. It, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. We're going to have, even if it, even if like a name changed or the time changed or something was adjusted, there's going to be some sort of live show. It, it's just, I like, I, I was literally thinking about that yesterday, bro. I was like, I can't even like imagine I can't imagine my life at this point without doing some sort of live show. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's just become such a – Yeah, I mean, when, and that 12 to 2 time slot, I mean, it just – you know, it just works, man. It just it just works. It works well with my schedule. I like the lunch hour type feel. You know, I, I it just it just works well. I, and I like how it kind of breaks up the day. You know what I mean? So, I'm not saying I'd never – I'm not saying I'd ever be opposed yeah. to – to a different time, but you know, when I first started, <clears throat> I don't know if you recall this, way back over quarantine, I was doing like a, trying to do kind of like a radio thing, and I was doing it like four to six. I really, it's just, it's kind of a weird time. Um, and I just think to myself, you know, when I was in the corporate world, what, what time did I have free? You know, it was that 12 to two ish hour or that, that slot. So I, I think, I think 12 to two works out really, really well. So. Well, so I didn't get on Twitter till last summer, so that's when I first found about about you and the Spurs up show. So I didn't see all the, the before that. Right. Well, I, I appreciate um, that, Luke RJ. But I appreciate that. And yeah, you know, you know, I, I like to bust your, always, you know, I like to bust your chops a little bit every now and then. So it's all in good fun. 
Oh yeah. I mean, I don't. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't try to troll or anything, but I will. I will say something that uh, is, you know, not attacking you, but trying to go with the crowd a little bit to see because it's it's just fun to mess with you on Twitter. Oh yeah. No, everybody, really everybody, everybody loves to. Everybody loves to for sure. But I, I like to just say what what I think, you know, and I don't really, I, I don't, I'm not into the trolling on Twitter, especially, so. but it's fun, man. It's fun balling all the stuff you do, and, and uh, you know, as long as I'm, as long as I'm uh, watching South Carolina sports, I'll be seeing what you put out there, content-wise. So, um, uh, hopefully that's for a very, hopefully that's for a very long time, my guy. Hopefully that's a very, very long time, and I, I appreciate the love and support, man. For real, it means a lot. Yeah, so good luck with the SEC unfiltered stuff and everything. And I'll be I'll be um, tuning in and see Rebecca call in for the Tennessee game. So. <laughs> for sure. Luke, always a pleasure, man. Hey, have a great and safe Memorial Day weekend, my man. All right, you too, man. All right, brother. Take care. Great stuff from Luke RJ. Yeah, I, I, like, to, I like to mess with Luke RJ every now and then. But, guys, if there's technical issues – Third down. All I can say is I apologize. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It looks like there's 30 people tuned in, so something must be going well. Something must be going well enough for folks to be tuned in. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So. I don't know. Though. I don't know what we got to do with the Wi-Fi, bro. It, it, it Y'all, y'all, let me know. Is 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 the? Give me an update. Is the, is the feed super choppy? Is the audio super choppy? Can you even see the game? What's the deal there? Because seriously, if if this thing is messing up, I'm gonna call Spectrum and be like, bro, my my Wi-Fi is, my Wi-Fi is uh, needs to be fixed. This is this is this cannot fly. <clears throat> Brendan says it's working. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. All right. I don't know, man. Te- Technology is just, it's just great until it isn't, right? It's just great until it isn't. Spencer with the wheels, eh? How about the wheels from old Spencey? Old Spencer with the wheels. And they're literally not going to let me finish the game. Right? They're not even going to let me finish the game. Bro, we just whooped. Ten- Can you imagine if we beat Tennessee like that? This one is over. South Carolina, 48, Tennessee, 21. Just whooped their ass. Luke RJ, it just took a Luke RJ call and, and everything started working again. I'm, I'm giving all credit to Luke RJ. <laughs> I'm giving all credit to Luke RJ. But yeah, again, back to you know, back to you know, I don't I don't know if you guys are are interested in the in, in the business side or the content creation side or or whatever. Um, but yeah, to to Luke RJ's question though, you know, people ask like, how are you going to build up SEC unfiltered? And I would just take you to this example. Last night, um, a guy for Tennessee hit a home run. I forget his name. Chase Burns, I believe it is. Or Burke, Burke, excuse me. He hit a home run. And I just, like, reposted the video and said, the next great power hitter in college baseball. Well, that video right now has 44 retweets and 491 likes. So, you create content around other teams. You create content around SEC teams. And you create mass amounts of content. And you push value. And the followers come. The interaction comes. I mean, that's exactly what I did with TSUS. You know what I mean? Now, there, there's things you can do. There are things you can do to help that process and to help grow, uh, you know, help grow, right? Interactions with fans, uh, tagging certain people, what have you, right? There, there's certain things you can do in that regard, but as long as you're creating content and pushing value and talking about other teams, like, I think that's naturally going to come. You know what I mean? I think that's naturally going to come. So, um, USC Gamecock fans says, Tennessee cheats too much for that score to ever happen. <laughs> Brendan says, although I probably got to bounce heading to North Greenville to watch good baseball for a change. boy, Brendan. Uh, tell Landon Powell and Trey Dyson and, and Matt Williams I said what's up. Tyler Gay says, how long have you wanted to do an SEC show? You know, Tyler, it's funny you ask that. It's just, it, it's not like, it's just always something that's been on my mind. You know what I mean? That uh, people have asked me, you know, about, about, because everybody wants to know, you know, what's the five-year plan? What's your plans for expansion? What are you going to do here and there? And, and uh, 
So it's something I've always kind of had in my head, like, you know, expanding. I didn't know exactly what it looked like. I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. But it's just something I always had in the back of my mind. And, man, like I said, dude, I, I know we, we hate Tennessee. And <laughs> their fans can be brutal on social media. But I, I got to show a lot of love to those Vols guys, man. I got to show a lot of love to those guys because I went up there to Tennessee and they embraced me and they talked about how awesome TSUS was and the merch and the content and just the business as a whole. And and that just really inspired me, man, to think, you know what? If this can work for South Carolina, if, if fans of South Carolina find this valuable, why can't others find it valuable? Why, why, why can't fans of every SEC school find it valuable? When you're talking growing – and you're talking about really making waves, right? You're talking about really making waves in sports media. And I say media very loosely. But making waves on social media and within the podcast game and, like, like getting outside of one team, man, that's a big way to do it. You know what I mean? So, it, it's – I'm not – I want people to understand. <clears throat> I'm not doing this SEC unfiltered thing or the SEC entity because I, I in some way feel – unfulfilled or TSUS isn't filling my needs and there's some void. It's quite the contrary. I'm doing it because the amount of joy and fulfillment that doing TSUS brings me on a daily basis, right? I feel that and I love to create content. I feel like I was one of the reasons I was put on this earth is to is to make people's days better by creating content and talking sports and voicing my opinion. And so I want to do that for the masses, for more people. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm good at what I do. I love what I do. Why don't I double down and do more of it? Why don't I do it and push more value to even more people? You know what I mean? You know, I, I can I can do what I do with TSUS, but for the entire SEC, and bring even more fulfillment and joy to my life. So I, I want to make it very clear: it's not because it's not because TSUS I'm not fulfilled or I need more. Quite the contrary, TSUS has just shown me what I'm capable of and what we're capable of. You know what I mean? That's what it really comes down to. That's what it really, really comes down to. So, you know, it's going to be a challenge. It's also something where I always want to be continuously evolving and growing, and I want to get outside of my comfort zone. And, you know, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's a, it's, when you think about it, <laughs> it's a little bit of a daunting thing thinking about, man, like, how are you going to cover every team in the SEC? How are you going to do that? But that's why I've made it very clear that SECU is not going to be like a TSUS where it's like a super, super in-depth, like we're talking depth chart, we're talking keys to games and key players. SECU is going to be a very high-level, fun, humorous, entertaining look at the SEC. Like a conversation you just have with someone at any bar in the SEC. You know what I'm saying? Any bar in any college town in the SEC. It's going to be a fun uh, really, really fun thing. You know what I'm saying? So, And it will evolve as it goes for sure. But it's going to be a high-level overview, just kind of shooting the shit uh, type of deal. So um, let's see. Aaron Thompson says the game is too loud. I, I don't have the volume. Up. I'll, I'll turn the volume down a little bit. I don't have the volume up very high, though. Uh, Tyler Gay says, I, SEC is really going to help us know what we want to know about the other teams we'll be playing, especially football season. I, and I appreciate Dude, I, like I said, I, I can't say enough – I can't express enough gratitude in regards to you guys supporting SECU, like the Gamecock support there. Um, because, I, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I was, I was very – I was just very curious what the Gamecock reception was going to be like, you know. I wasn't sure if people were going to question my fandom. I wasn't sure if people were going to say, oh, you're, you're not a real Gamecock fan. How can you, why would you want to do this? You know, I thought people were going to question my loyalty or whatever to the University of South Carolina and to Gamecocks Athletics. And for that, that has not been the case at all. And I just, you know, I, I just cannot say enough, man, how much I appreciate the love and support. And it's, it just, it means the absolute world, man. It means the absolute world. I'm, I'm so, so grateful, so grateful. Um, so grateful for you guys, man. Truly. So.
All right, here we go. Auburn, what a matchup this is at Auburn. Uh, Tyler Gay, will you be doing SECU merch? Tyler, yes, absolutely yes. Yes, that was another huge part of it, Tyler, in regards to uh, why I wanted to expand. Again, those guys loved the merchandise, right? They rocked with the merch. And so it was just a no-brainer for me. It was a no-brainer for me in regards to, bro, I, and I love creating merch. I'm like, if we can create dope, unique merch for Carolina, why can't we do this for every SEC school? Now, I will say this. And Tyler, I don't know if you were talking about specifically like that SECU logo or if you were talking about like merch for other schools, but yes to both questions. I, I, that's, and that SECU merch, I need to go ahead and get on that so I can have some stuff to rock for myself on the, on the SECU show because I'm, I'm sure the fans – I'm sure the fans of the other SEC schools are going to get really tired of seeing me rocking Gamecock shit, which, I mean, whatever the hell with it. Everybody knows I'm a Gamecock fan. It is what it is. Um, but yes to both questions. Um, yes to both questions. So, Mike Hall, what's going on? Tyler Gay says, so you're going to be doing your own twist on it like the TSUS merch. Well, an own twist, like it's just going to be unique, Tyler. It's just going to be unique. It's going to be something you couldn't find in the bookstore, right? It's, it's not going to be using school's logos or anything like that. It's going to be kind of off the wall uh, sort of stuff. And, you know, with that being said, with that being said, one of, the, one of the greatest challenges with everything and something that I'm going to at some point have to do, because as I keep saying over and over and over and over again, right, I'm just one person. I, I'm literally just one person doing all of this. I'm gonna have to expand. I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to expand, and uh, you know, hire some people. Like flat out, bring some people on. You know, especially like I'd love to do merchandise for every SEC school, but realistically, like, am I gonna be able to? I mean, you think about how long it would take to sit down and strategize merchandise. For every SEC school. And I'm not saying I couldn't do it. I can do, guys, I can do anything I set my mind to. But realistically, you know, again, there's only 24 hours in a day and I'm just one person. So, you know, that's something I'm going to have to figure out. So, but again, the joy is in the journey. The joy is truly in the journey, man. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, I, I prayed for these type of things years ago, man. I really did. Like, when you when you really have perspective, I'm someone that I live in the present moment, right? I, I try not to, like, dwell on the past or stress about the future. Live in the present moment. I'm not saying being ignorant to, like, the, the, the future and not having plans and goals, but you guys get what I'm saying. But, like, when you really look, God, I, I would have just – probably would have cried. I would have been so happy. So, it's a, it's a blessing, man. That's, that's why I'm always – that's why I'm always trying to express gratitude to you guys, man. Like I just I can't express to you how much it means to me and how how uh, how grateful I am for the support. It, it's just I I don't I mean, dude, I I don't I don't take it for granted. I really don't. I really and I just want y'all to know that. I I want y'all to know that. So, all right, let's try to score a touchdown here. Why not? We are running a lot with Spencer Rattler. We we use his legs a good bit. Braddock 843, probably this weekend. I'll get some SECU merch made. Um, there is going to be an secunfiltered.com. There is going to be an – I just need to sit down and set that up. <clears throat> There's going to be an secunfiltered.com. There's going to be an secunfiltered.store. All of that's going to happen. So, all of that will happen. South Carolina, up seven points. 
Why did I wait so late on that? I had him if I don't wait so late. I had him if I don't wait so late. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting evolution, man, because, again, it's like, you know, my mind is... My mind is obviously focused on TSUS, but I'm also pushing SEC Unfiltered and... and uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but, again, it's a challenge I'm embracing. I love it, man. I, I think if... I honestly think this. I, I would tell anybody this, especially if you're in business, but whatever you're doing. It, you know, it could be in fitness. It could be in in business, whatever, you know, and I, and I would tell you, if, if you're not, if you're not living life on the edge, you're taking up too much room. And, and if you're not, if you're not doing things, if you're not doing things that make you a little uncomfortable, like, I don't think your goals are big enough. I, I don't think you're trying to do big enough shit. You should not reach a point of extreme comfortability. You know, like the reason TSUS is what it is, one of the biggest reasons is because I was uncomfortable working a nine to five. You know what I mean? I was I was really uncomfortable working a nine to five, and so I was I was hungry. I was doing anything I possibly could to get TSUS to the point where I could do it full time. You see what I'm saying? Like, greatness is not bred from comfortability. It's bred from being uncomfortable, right? Like you look at your favorite athlete; they put themselves in constant positions. Un, of uncomfortability, right? All of their training, high-pressure training, whatever the sport is, it doesn't matter, right? You would never get better if you just constantly remain comfortable. And I'm not trying to go on some long rant and whatever. But anyways, so that's, that's you know, I, I remind myself, I'm preaching to myself because even just this week, it's been a challenge, right? I'm like, damn, like I'm watching every game, like, I'm trying to focus on the on the TSUS content, but like, what content am I making for for SCCU? And it's like, it's okay, it's okay. Like that that's good. That's a good thing to feel that. Travis Allen, try refreshing the feed, my guy. I don't know what else to say. I don't. I don't know. Is anybody else having a problem with the feed repeating what I'm saying over and over again? So let's see how the defense responds. Maybe I'm just repeating myself, Travis. Is that what's going on? I I I, I do tend to do that from time to time. Apparently, I've unlocked extra plays now, by the way, so that's a good thing. I've unlocked extra plays. Anybody got any big Memorial Day weekend plans, by the way? This is the start of the holiday weekend. Anybody got any big plans for Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend? It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 17. Ball on the 17. Look at this. Look at this. Juju, what a play. What a play. Get off me, he says. Oh, my goodness. The the play, the pitch, the breaking the tackle thing of beauty. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Braddock843 says, saving for vacation next Friday, not doing anything. Well, Braddock, I, I am I am going to the beach with the family tomorrow for the day. I'm not doing anything crazy either. I don't even know what the what what's the weather gonna look like. This uh how can I still not hot route? That's insane. Um Yeah, I'm just going to the, the beach with the fam tomorrow for the day. <clears throat> well, I'll be back Sunday. Probably gonna come back Sunday afternoon. Nothing crazy. Not doing anything really, really crazy. Um, so. It'll be nice. I, I'm a, like I said, I love the beach. I'm a huge beach guy. By the way, guys, podcast dropped today. Our postseason report card for Gamecocks baseball. I apologize it didn't drop this morning. Somehow the the show was saved as a draft and not scheduled. That's what I was saying. Like we we have been just having the damnedest 
technical issues, the hackers. I, I mean, I don't know what the deal is, why that is. We've just been having the damnedest shit happen. So, I don't know what the deal is. But the podcast is out. I want you all to know the podcast is indeed out. That time the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver is there to make a nice grab. And the goal line defense digging in here. Rattler. Brown, let's go! Out of bed. Dart. 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 Nod your average sports kiss. I'm at Kiowa for the weekend. Love that, my guy. Love that. Love that, my guy. Hey, feels good to be good, doesn't it, my guy? Chilling at Kiowa. He said, he said it feels good to be good. Feels good to be good. Feels good to be good. There go. Go up, make a play. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. He wants it all. I should have hit X. Should have hit X. Yep. That was dumb. Should have hit X. Yeah, I think we're uh I think we're hitting Hilton Head tomorrow, by the way. That should be a good time. Let's hope maybe he can break a tackle and get up field. <clears throat> Damn, folks, it's like we got a game. We got a game. We have got a game. It's second and eight. Ball on the 29 yard line. South Carolina is up a score. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. Super job here by the defense. That did not work. That did not work. That did not work at all. Wells, lay out, son! Antoine Wells! Lay out, kid. Had a bit! Check out the catch right here. Check out the catch right here from our guy. First off, dime. Oh, God! But the catch! But the catch! But the catch from Wells! Oh, my goodness! Patrick versus how you playing these games? Uh, PlayStation 3, Patrick Fisher. College football revamped mod SG1 Sports rosters. If you think it sounds complicated, it is. <laughs> like, I ain't even going. I ain't even going front with you, man. Like this is this is awesome. Playing this is awesome. It is not the most simple thing in the world when it comes to jailbreaking the PlayStation and, and getting it set up. I'm going to tell you that right now. So. the catch and look out knocked out of bounds at the 22 yard line good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker oh, Lavoisier Carroll looking that clean in that garnet and black Lavoisier looking clean in that garnet and black looking damn good about three yards to get the first here on second down Got to bust that outside. Stogs out there giving me a block. Got to bust that outside. Mm. Anyways, guys, we are taking your questions, your comments, and your calls. 843-790-3377. Yes, the phone lines even are open. Phone lines are indeed open. Travi, how do you think Corey Rucker will do this year? I, I, Travi, I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, Rattler seems high on him. I, you know, I, I, it's it's great to have another weapon. I, I don't, 
I'm not exactly sure how he fits in. I, I think it's I think it's Van and Wells, the top two guys. You know, Rucker will fit in there somewhere. Dak Joyner's still there. Landon Sampson will fit in somewhere. So. He's under some heat. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Uh, Luke RJ thought about the new players getting to campus yesterday. And down he goes at the 33. Glad they all got on campus successfully. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, they just they just moved in. So I mean, I, you know, I, I'm just glad they're all here. And yeah, I think workouts start uh, next Wednesday. So yeah, you know, I, I, I'll tell you this, Luke RJ and everybody else too. I mean, I've said this before, but this time of year, you know, I'm glad they're on campus. But no news is good news. Like I, I, I don't really want to be. I don't really want to be hearing a whole lot from them over the next couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only news that comes out this time of year is, is guys getting in trouble or injured. I mean, there's really – you don't hear anything else. Um, so, yeah, glad they're all on campus, though. Workouts will start next week. And, you know, this is when – hey, this is this is when championships are won, right? Those workouts and and uh, this, is, this is the real grind, man. You know, anybody can do it. You know, in season, but you got to do it in the off season to uh, to build your football team. So, yep, the grind begins, man. I mean, obviously the countdown's on. The grind begins, and we'll we'll see what happens. So. Let's go! Toddy season! Toddy! Toddy! Um, yeah, Travis Lee talking season. Bro, this, listen, June, July, and even August. This is peak season for slap dicks like yours truly to just talk ball, man. <laughs> That's what we do, my guy. We just talk ball. No, it's it's a good time. I uh, I'll tell you this. What's so funny is like I told you guys, you know, I was planning on taking June off. I'm I'm so funny, man. Like like I like I like I really think I'm gonna take three weeks off from doing the business. Like that's just, you know, I, I know myself better than that. But either way, um, sat down last night and planned the podcast for the month of June. So I, I can confirm with you all, the podcast will drop as normal in June. The podcast is going to drop three days per week. We're not going to miss a beat. The Daily Crow is probably where the adjustment will be made. I, I, I do think, you know, guys, I will say this. I love the Daily Crow, but it's, I mean, it's a huge chunk of the week for me, 10 hours a week. You know, that's a, that's a quarter of what people work, right, in a work week. So, I think we might take a week or two from the Daily Crow. You know, it'll really just depend on the day. Um, it'll really just depend on the day and, and sort of what's what's going on, what the week looks like, et cetera. But, um, yeah, so, but the podcast will continue. And, and I can tell you guys this. I think you guys are really going to enjoy the podcast in June because it's going to be a lot of, like, it's going to be a lot of stuff that, you wouldn't talk about any other time than the off season. You know what I mean? There's as I as I've you know I've wrote this article before about Hope Springs a turn on the off season and what makes the off season beautiful because the off season is a beautiful thing. It really is. The off season really is a beautiful thing. As Spencer Rattler throws a dime to Leggett, a dime, dimes for days. Mike Jones would love. Spencer Rattler because he's throwing nothing but dimes and as Mike Jones says he needs a dime at the top of the line right cute face a little waist and a big behind well I don't know if Spencer Rattler's got any of that but he does throw a lot of dimes so I know Mike Jones has got to be a big Rattler guy no question somebody clipped that that's beautiful I mean that, that is poetic that's poetic from yours truly that's truly poetic 
Love Mike Jones, by the way. Who? Mike Jones. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Oh, Just shoot. over two minutes in the game. How about a 30? 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 Tyler Gay says, I think Samson will be the next Cooper Cup. He's going to be good. Yeah, I'm excited for Landon. Yeah, a lot of hype around Landon Samson. I really like going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it. I don't know if you guys saw my my buddy Jeff on uh on Twitter. I think I think Jeff O'Hare with Cox by 90. I think I think he's going to have the game Cox going 12 and 0. <laughs> I saw his his post about the kickoff times and you know saying that uh, the noon kickoff is going to give us just more time to It'll, it'll give us more time to celebrate after we upset the Georgia Bulldogs and start 3-0. and And I'm like, well, shit, my man. If we're, st if we're starting, let me ask you this. It, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Here's a good question. If we start 3-0, and let's just, let's just say in a crazy hypothetical world, right, we start 3-0. and What's our final record? What's, what's our final record if we start 3-0? and Because at that point, like, if you start 3-0, and I would say... If you don't go nine and three, you you messed up. Is that fair? I mean, I think that's fair. I think that's very fair. Oh come on, give me a pass play. If you start three and zero, oh, you're going at minimum. You got to go at minimum nine and three, right? I mean, I would imagine. I would think so. They line up in the jumbo set. He's scrambling. He's under pressure. He steps up at the 13. Yeah, you, you got to go nine and three or better if you start three and zero. I mean, there's just no doubt. So I, I'm excited, man. Like, I, you know, you guys know I, I love the predictions. I love prediction season. I, I love seeing what I love seeing what everybody thinks we're gonna do. You know what I mean? I, I love seeing it. So I'm, I'm excited to see what old Cox by ninety thinks we're gonna do this season. He 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 seems to be pretty optimistic. So. uh you know, which I love it. Listen, I love the fact we got hype. I love it. I love the fact we've got hype. Why not? Now, am I picking? If I am, I going to pick us to go nine and three or ten and two? Uh, I hate to spoil it, but no. <laughs> but, but you know, maybe, maybe. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we could be that shocker team. That shocker team in the. Uh, in college football. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be a hell of a year? Wouldn't that be a hell of a story, right? Wouldn't that be one hell of a story, man? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be something? Would love to see it. Uh, Travis says, I'll tell you what, Kentucky better be a W this year. Well, you know, i tell you this too, Travis, can you imagine beating Georgia and losing to Kentucky, my guy? Yeah, not your average sports kid. My dude, Michael Bratton, said that, that uh, we would beat Georgia. Yeah. He, made a, he made a bold prediction, which we love. Hey, this is the time of year. And, and I'll be honest with you. There's a part of me that wants to be like that guy that makes these bold picks. You know? Like, like I'll be honest with you. Hey, I'll be honest. And I, I, I am someone, I want you all to know, I, I make just genuine predictions. I make genuine predictions, genuine picks. I'm not going out there for... for uh, for clicks or whatever, you know, I'm not saying something because I know there's going to be a reaction. But I tell you what, when it comes to like this SEC unfiltered content, hey, hey, you want you want to see? Let me do something crazy like pick uh pick pick Tennessee to win the East, pick Kentucky to win the East. You know what I mean? So. We are six and one, folks. Six and one, and we are about to smack Troy in the face.
Okay. Again, guys, taking your questions, comments, calls. Jack Harrington says, Kentucky on the road is a tough game. Let's not act like it's a must win. we got to win the games that we can't lose plus an upset or two. <clears throat> I mean, it's going to be a tough game. Listen, dude, I, I've, I've, I give as much credit, if not more, to Kentucky than anybody else. Guys, going to take a quick bathroom break. I will be right back. Just give me two seconds. Okay, Tyler Gay says, could the game time change? Could the game time change if we beat Arkansas? I, I certainly hope so, Tyler. Noon game for Georgia. I mean, pfft. like there's a part of me, I'll tell you this, there's a part of me that looks at it and is like, you know what? You know what? We had noon for Georgia in 2010, and it worked out really well. <laughs> but nobody... Nobody wanted or wants a noon game for Georgia. It, it just nobody, absolutely nobody. Um, what do we want to do for uniforms? Let's let's do let's do something kind of different here. We got Troy. It's a great opportunity to rock some some different unis, right? Uh, I don't know. Black garnet black. Luke RJ says black, black, white. Huh. Black, black, white, he says. I can rock with that. It's not bad. All right, we'll, 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 we'll rock with that. Why not? Luke RJ voiced, voiced his opinion. Nobody else said anything. We'll go black, black, white. Stephanie Lee says, love your live shows, Chris. You never know what's going to happen. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes. Just trying to keep everybody on their toes. You never know what's going to happen, truly. I mean, normally we take our we take our five-minute breaks, right? We take our five-minute breaks, and I have a opportunity to have a bathroom break or reload on water. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. 
Sorry. Sorry about it. Uh, anyways, here we go. Did Florida beat Arkansas yet or no? Uh, no. So, 7-2 to two Gators, middle of the eighth inning. 7-2 Gators, middle of the eighth. And it is a cold, rainy night at Willie B for the Troy game. All right, this is this this needs to be like a Heisman game, right? Like we, we need to throw for tree fitty. We need to throw for like tree fitty. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Score us about six or seven touchdowns. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. I got these extra plays now, boy. I'm trying to I'm trying to pass the football. The hell with this. The hell with this. I'm trying to pass the football. Anyways, guys, appreciate you all tuning in. 45 minutes to go. Hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your weekend. <clears throat> Memorial Day weekend. So I'm sure a lot of you have big plans. I know the Lake Murray will probably be buzzing this weekend. Um, yours truly. I'm actually going to head to the beach tomorrow for the day with the family, I believe. So, should be a good time. Should be a really, really good time. Going to go down to Hilton Head. Always love it down there. Always love Hilton Head. So. That's just how they drew it up. When I talked to this coach earlier in the week, Let's get six here. Let's get six here. Right here. Bro, Leggett has turned into a big time playmaker for us. He's knocked down about right around the four yard line. Here we go. Jump the phone lines here. Robbie Call from Davis. Robbie Davis, aka Kirkkirkby. To accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. Robbie, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well, man. Appreciate you asking. What's up? Um, I just wanted to uh, South Carolina is up by a touchdown. Say that um. Fires that quickly, incomplete. I. I wanted to reiterate what I said a couple of days uh, I guess the other day From their own with everything going line. on with like it's with how the baseball team played this year. Um, and what I thought, and I didn't know this until yesterday, but this, and I was in shock. I was like, man, we 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 we, we went the tw. In the last 26 years, we've only had, like, what, three losing seasons? Robbie, the last time Carolina went below 500 before this year was 1996. So, it only happened one other time. It's only happened four times since 1964. It was 1969, 1970, 1996, and this year. And this year. Good Lord. Yeah, so so justifying so so justifying mediocrity. Fires quickly and they got God it. Touchdown. It. So justifying mediocrity for Game Gamecocks baseballs is not something that I will uh will tolerate. No, me either. Because like I said at like the midway point of the, I think it was the midway point, I can't remember, it's been so long. The standard is the standard, and this year we did not play to said standard whatsoever. That 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 goes without saying, my guy. That goes without saying. But um, and I'm really happy for you that the whole uh, SEC unfiltered stuff's going pretty well. 
Yeah, man. I mean, it's just a couple days in, but uh, yeah, I, I feel like things are going are going really well. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, it's off to a good start, and uh, yeah, excited for everything, man. I, I appreciate the love and support, man, for real. I really do. So it's 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 been fun thus yeah, far. Like been, I told you, and like I said, it's it's been fun yeah. to have a reason <laughs> to watch the SEC tournament because Carolina doesn't normally give us one, so. <laughs> So it's been, ni- it's been nice to like have a reason to watch baseball. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And, um, <coughs> I, and like I told you earlier before the show came up, before you uh, started going live, <coughs> As of, I think, what was it, either yesterday or the day before, I told you I was I, I follow your uh, unfiltered content on Facebook. So anytime you post anything, I'll get notified. <coughs> I appreciate that, my guy. I appreciate that. For real, man. And Tr- I will make sure if you do plan a trip down here to the Oper, okay? Your lunch will be on me. I'll make sure I'll make sure of it. Well, I appreciate that, plan, my guy. I appreciate plan, that. If you do plan a trip to Ope, to the Oberg and get some barbecue in you, your lunch will be on me. So, and you have a great time at the be- at the beach this weekend. Everybody, don't do nothing too crazy, okay? I know it, I know it's Memorial Day, but don't do nothing too crazy, okay? Because there's enough craziness going on in this world. We don't need no more. <coughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, man. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to fix me something to eat. You have a great rest of your day. And go Gamecocks, dog home. Robbie, always a pleasure, my guy. Mm-hmm. You have a good one, right? Yeah, man. You too. Appreciate you. Take care. Mm-hmm. Robbie Davis always has a way with words. He always has a way with words. Appreciate Robbie. And uh, my my apologies, guys. The game just froze there while we were <laughs> we threw a touchdown, and I don't know, just went to went to crap. So whatever it is, what it is. Oh well, we'll just restart it. Thank goodness we weren't too far ahead. It's weird that uh, like the game froze, but the PlayStation normally the PlayStation as a whole does so. Uh, by the way, guys, really excited, proud to announce. You might recall this way, way. Some ex- so some exciting stuff happening on this Friday. You might recall this way back in the day <clears throat> that uh, SeatGeek used to be a partner of ours, and I used to promote SeatGeek. I mean, this is, guys, this is like at the very beginning of TSUS. Excited to announce SeatGeek is once again a partner of the Spurs Up Show. So... Use the promo code SPURSUP at checkout at SeatGeek.com. You will get $20 off your first purchase on any purchase over $50. $50 or more. Use that promo code SPURSUP, S-P-U-R-S-U-P, to receive $20 off your first purchase. And guys, if you already have a SeatGeek account, here's a little secret I'll let you in on. Just go create a new one. That's it. Get your money. Get your, get your, get your discount. We could all... We all could use saving a buck right now, huh? Why not? So, be sure to use that promo code SPURSUP at SeatGeek.com with a brand new account. Any purchase over 50 bucks, you're going to get $20. 20 big ones. $20 off that first purchase. Really excited to have SeatGeek on as a partner again, man. Really, really great stuff. Really great stuff. So, Anyways, all right. let's uh, Guys, we're still taking your questions, your comments, and your calls. Appreciate you all tuning in. Hopefully we can beat the shit out of Troy. From the 41-yard line. First down. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. Set.
He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. Luke RJ, white, black, white looks better than black, white, black, black, white. Yeah, Luke, I don't know. I just thought I, I, I see. I like the white helmet. Luke, I, I like the white helmet. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big white helmet guy. I like the white helmet a lot. I don't know. I wonder if we'll change the uniforms going into this year. I, I got to think Beamer wants to put his stamp on it. I, I got to think so. I got to think so. He steps out around the four yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. Third and a foot. Ball on the four. Touchdown, Gamecocks. South Carolina is up a score. Uh, Jack Harrington says, I like the more classic approach for uniforms last year. Must champs unit combo has got to be too much. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. That's, we, were, we were getting ridiculous with the uniform combo. But I'm a huge, 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 huge uni guy. Huge uni guy. Huge uni guy. Absolutely. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 38. That play was stupid. Rolls right off the play fake. And this one's broken up. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Jack Harrington, is it possible we ever switch to Nike? <clears throat> I, I hope so. Luke RJ, I think we already did put his stamp on the uniforms with the Garnet face mask. What else do you think he does? I just think, like, changing up the stripes. Like, I, I, I'd be shocked if we kept the same exact design. Like, here's the problem. I, dude, I, I'd go back to the traditional striping on the helmet like you see on my helmet. I'd go back to that. Like, I'm not even – I'm not saying it's terrible – but it's just like it's must champ, dude. It's it's I, and I want us to do everything to get away from the must champ here, dog. I'm sorry. I, I just we need to be doing everything to get away from the must champ. You you gotta think Beamer wants to have his own his own uniform. His own stamp on it. I know he did the garnet face mask, but you can do a lot more. So I'd love to see Beamer change it up. I really would. I really would. Great concentration to haul it in. He's taken down. Around the 28 yard line, they complete the slant. Good for 10. Third and nine, ball on the 28 yard line. South Carolina is up by a touchdown. Now he's scrambling. Picked all right, let's lock in. Let's lock in here. Let's lock in. When is the Under Armour contract up? Um, I don't know exactly. I, I really don't know. I do not know.
He's going to go for the home run. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. And a big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Boop. Jaheem. Jaheem Bell. There we go. Bro, I can't wait to watch Rattler to Bell, dude. <clears throat> Rattler to Bell going to be a deadly combo. It's going to be a deadly combo. Jack Harrington, you need to grind the new college football video game when it comes out. Dude, I'm for real. Dude, you. you bro. <laughs> That's a given, my guy. That is a given. That is such a given. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is such a given. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Catch the ball, dude. Catch the freaking ball, man. Like, what are you doing? Catch the ball. South Carolina, up seven points. Luke RJ, that Connor Shaw era helmet, cocky lids recreated is the best, I think. Carolina on the front instead of the state flag. I mean, dude, yeah. I, I, I mean, I I love that helmet. Yeah. I would go with the unis, Luke RJ, the 05, 06s that were really simple, clean. You make that in Under Armour material, I think you've got a gold uniform combo, dude. But see... My ideas for the uniforms are a lot more boring than a lot of people. Like, I, I would honestly, I would go white garnet, white at home, white, white, white on the road, and then have alternates. You know? Like, I know my good buddy Kirk Hollingsworth, the USC super fan that you all know and love. Kirk loves black, right? He, he, would, he, would, he would take us wearing black every game. Right? He would take us wearing black every game. So it's first down. He would take us rocking black every single game. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Jack Carrington, feelings on the Carolina script helmets? Uh, they suck. Jack, those helmets suck. No, I, I'm not a fan. I mean, if you if you maybe want to rock those once. Okay, I can get over it. Those helmets were trash, bro. I'm sorry. That that that, that script thing must champ. Yeah, that was so stupid, bro. That was that was. It looks cool on merch. Great on merch. On on uniforms, nah. Not a fan. Quick throw, incomplete. Wanted his receiver. Now who's the penalty going to be called on here? Wow, we're playing like doo doo. <clears throat> we are playing like doo doo. Bro, the worst helmets in the history of Carolina, though, is there, are those damn tail feather helmets. I mean, that, that, honestly, those were the worst helmets we've ever South worn. Is ever. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. <sighs> Bro, couldn't have, couldn't have dropped it in there any better. Couldn't have dropped it in there any better, bro. <laughs> wow. That is... That's absurd. I'm going to give him another chance. Back-to-back <laughs> -back plays off the hands. Well... God, it's like, well, you ain't getting another ball. God. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. This is so Carolina, it hurts. This is so Carolina, it hurts. It hurts. Unbelievable. So at the end of the half, 14. God. Let me, let me ask you this. DJ Game says, I'd love a smoky gray alternate. Bro. I, I just... I, the grays, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a gray. I'm not really a, a fan of the grays, my dude. 
incomplete pass. Not really a fan of the gray, sorry. Like, gray in baseball makes sense because gray is a baseball thing. But gray in football, I, I just, I don't know. You kind of you kind of lose me there. You kind of lose me there. Oh, this is so Carolina. This is so Carolina. Like, what are we doing? <clears throat> what are we doing here? What is going on, dude? What is going on? The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. We got to We got to put together like a huge second half here, man. We got to put together a huge second. You can't win the Heisman and struggle to beat Troy. We should be. We should be winning like 42 to seven. Shouldn't even be close. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Here we go. Let's hurry it up. Let's go. Let's run the play again. Let's go. Let's go. How are they gonna adjust? How are they gonna adjust? Let's go. Just said, well, blocking's optional. <laughs> blocking's optional. I guess I won't block this play. <laughs> God. Had him too. Had him too. <sighs> Got the first. Here we go. Luke Argus is home, white, garnet, white, white, black, white, away, white, 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 or white, white, garnet, white, white, black, hot take, not a huge fan of big game garnet, we're all white. Really, that is a hot take, my guy, because I, I think big game garnet's got to stay in rotation. I think the storm, any, like, dude, Stormtrooper is a great look for any, any school. Like, truly, storm, Stormtroopers just look dope, like, straight up. Stormtroopers look dope. Puts it right in his hands, touchdown. Stormtroopers look dope. Are we, we're we're really, we're really messing around with Troy, bro. We're really messing around with Troy. Like we are. Oh, look at this. How does this spin? How does the spin move not get him there? That spin move should have got him right there. Bro, what are, what is this play calling? Well, it worked that time. Need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 to Mike. Set. 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 He laterals. Uh, Jack Herring says all white is the best uni combo we have. Yeah, Troy does give us trouble in this game. If you recall last year, last year we did the season, the season simulation series. I think Troy beat us. Pretty sure Troy actually beat us, so. Yeah, Troy actually beat us. Interesting, to say the least. Bro, why are they not letting me throw the ball? Let me throw the fucking ball. Let me throw the damn ball, bro. Come on. I'm trying to win a Heisman. Shit, I'm just gonna hurry up. We're gonna keep running that same play. We're gonna run that same damn play. Yup. I'm gonna force y'all to let me throw it. Mm. 
Good things happen when I force Coach to let me throw it. Good things happen. Good things happen. Let him throw it, Coach. Let him throw the damn ball, Coach. Let us throw the ball. Travis says Troy gives us hell in real life. Just over two minutes in the game. I love the All Garnet DJ game. I, I love that as an alternate. The Fire Ant, Fire Ant, uh, Fire Ant Unis. I love that. Honestly, I'm a fan. Truly, I'm a fan. You imagine we win again. <laughs> like, this isn't shocking at all. Now we're running a pass play on fourth down? What? How do you not get in there? How are you not in the end zone there? How are you... How are you not in? Coach is like, he's got to get the highs. We, we got to throw the ball. He's got he's to win the Heisman. Hey, just tack on one more. Just tack on one more. Let's go. You love to see him steal one at the end. You love to see him steal one. Steal a tutty at the end. Just fantastic route running on this play. Boop, get out of my way. 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 Great, great route running, truly. Y'all think we can squeeze one more in? We need to check where we are in the Heisman. I think we could probably squeeze one more game in, right? We'll probably get one more in. Bro, we should be undefeated, man. We should not have lost that game to Arkansas. We should not have lost that game to Arkansas, man. Bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. We should not have lost to Arkansas. What do we got in the next week? Ooh, I, we might have to save this one. We might have to save this one for next time. I don't know. It's a big game, dude. At the number two gate. Or it's a great way to go in the weekend beating them. The number two gate -ish. The gate -ish. The gate -ish. Second ranked Florida Gators. Not your average sports kid says, please play. Luke RJ says, most successful road uniform record is white, white garnet. Where, where are you seeing that, Luke RJ? Where are you seeing like the records for each uniform combo? Brendan says, save it. Okay, so we got we got some votes for play, some votes for save it and chill. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're gonna we're gonna have some disagreement here. We're gonna have some disagreement here. DJ game with another vote for save it. Bro, it's a big. Let's see. Bro, Florida's number one in the country. They're number one in the country. Bro, this game's for the East. This game is for the SEC East. This game is for the SEC East. Where we gotta be in the Heisman combo, right? We have to be in the Heisman combo. Let's go! Boom, baby! Let's go! How about it? Look at the top four, dude. Four SEC quarterbacks. How about that shit? How about that shit? How about that shit? Oh, damn. Damn, that's something. 
That's something, man. I've already almost thrown for as many touchdowns as I had last year, but I, I, I got benched in year one, so. 76 com percent completion percentage. 76 percent. That's freaking ridiculous. Hell, I'm only averaging 21 attempts a game. Crazy. We are at the top, dude. I, guys, I, 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 you know, I tell you, I don't want to rush this one. I really, really, really don't. I really don't want to rush this one. David Barnes says, play it. I don't know. Oh, the part of me that does. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got to make a decision. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. At Florida, dog. At Florida. At Florida. What the hell? They're averaging 43 points per game. All right, let's play it. Let's, let's just play it. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. I'm going, uh, we'll go with Luke RJ. White, white garnet. White, white garnet. I'll get, hey, we'll do it. Let's play it. All right, we're, we're doing it. 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 Here we go. Final game. Final game. Final game. We might go a little bit past two. That's okay, though. I, I can't help myself. Just can't help myself. It's a big one. It's a big game. Cannot help myself. The number one. They're 10-0. and 0. Can you imagine? Everybody thinks Florida's going to suck this year. They're 10-0. and 0. Can you imagine that? Number one in the country. Can you imagine? Can't even fathom it. Can't even fathom it. Ooh, a rain game in Gainesville. Ooh. How about a rain game? How about that? How about that? What's my view on Georgia being at noon? I mean, I hate it, obviously. I hate it, no doubt. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? I hate it. So... We got to play smart football this game. Play very smart football. Protect the football. Play smart. We've got a second and nine here. All on their own 26. Damn it. Taken down at the 27. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right. Four verts. Let's go. Big play, big play, Spence. Big play, big play. I, I, I think I might have had triangle for a second, but I was like, I don't want to force that in that window. <clears throat> don't want to force that into that window. Uh, if we beat Arkansas week two, could we get game day? I mean, I, I would imagine. Maybe they move the kickoff time as well. I mean, would they have game day for a noon game? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so, but <clears throat> you never know. <clears throat> so, I mean, name me a better game in week three if we're 2-0 and and they're 2-0. and Name me a better game. You'd be, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a better game. How does he not get a foot down? That pass led him just a little bit too far. How are you not getting a foot down there? How are you not getting a foot down? What a run on third and six that you call a draw and it works. I will be damned. Dude, oh my God, bro. You're running for days if you just catch the ball. Oh my God, catch the ball. Goodness. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. He 
Bro, what a toss. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big league toss right there. That's a big league toss. I mean, you got to have a hose to get that ball over there. That's a big league toss. Oh, S yeah, SEC Nation. At, dude, we might get SEC Nation even if we're not to it. I mean, that's that's. I feel pretty confident. We're, there's gonna be there's gonna be some hype and some hoopla around that game. There's gonna be some hype around that game for sure. Hit him. Let's go, Rico. I know he's not even on our roster anymore. It, right? He transferred, right? Did he transfer? Is did Rico Powers transfer? I'm pretty sure. Man. Bro, like I told you guys, I, I lost track of who all's on our roster. Who's not. I'm pretty sure Rico Powers transferred. But. <clears throat> oh, well. Whatever. We'll take it. We'll take it. Gotta love the fact we just still can't audible. Beautiful. South Carolina is up by a touchdown. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. And he's tackled right around the 30. Isn't it fun knowing we have a quarterback that could possibly win the Heisman? Isn't that something like? He's in trouble. He wants it all going long. I thought he could get it out past him. I thought he could get it out past him. I thought he did. I thought he could. Come on, catch the ball. Our defense bailing us out right now, bro. Our defense bailing us out. Bro, look at this shit. Hold on to the football. God, I know it's raining, but holy hell. How many drop passes has there been? Holy smokes. Sometimes it's just a well, that wasn't good. That's what happened there. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. South Carolina up seven points. DJ Games says sports media needs more Josh Pates. Hey, Josh does a great job. Josh does a fantastic job, and I cannot wait to get him back on the podcast. We will most certainly do that this preseason. Um, had him on last year. He was phenomenal. So, yeah, he does a great job. They consider this a rivalry game. Do you, do you guys consider South Carolina, Florida a rivalry? I I got to be honest. I, 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 don't, I don't consider South Carolina, Florida a rivalry. I, I, just, I, I don't know. There's nothing really about the game that screams rivalry to me. Courtney Washington, what's going on? Appreciate you tuning in. What's up? Zach Anderson, you say yes. Why? I'm not even trying to hate. I just, I don't really see them as a rival. Dude, let's go. Let's go, Wells. Let's go, Wells. Gamecocks fan 67, what's going on? I can't believe Rebecca missed the Tennessee game. Isn't that something? How does Rebecca miss the Tennessee game after she's been been clamoring for it? We got a 14 to 7 ball game. We got us a ball game. It's second down and they're about 2 yards away from the sticks. 
By the way, I know it's cut off on the screen, but we are ranked 11th, by the way. We're ranked 11th, in case you guys cannot see that. We are ranked 11th. Yeah, Gamecocks fan 67. Clemson is indeed our rival. That is a correct statement. That is a correct statement, my friend. From the 17 yard line, second down. South Carolina is up a score. Hit him. Jaheim Bell, the Florida kid. Jaheim Bell. Do the damn thing, babe. Let's go. I'm going to see a lot of that this season. I'm going to see a lot of that. Gamecocks fan, 6-7, who's your favorite player for South Carolina? I'll go Jaheim Bell. Hard not to, hard not to say Rattler, right? Hard not to say Rattler. More Jaheim Bell. More Jaheim Bell. Atta boy. How about our defense? You're absolutely right. That ball was thrown where it had to be. That would have been picked off and taken the other way for six had it been thrown anywhere else. Heck of a throw that time. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Bro, we are rolling. By the way, we are rolling. We are rolling right now. 28 points. It's not even halftime. What in the world? Smart, 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 smart football. Very smart football. Very smart football. There, just, 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 just take what you can get. They were, they were not going to let me go deep. That's for sure. They were not going to let me go deep. From their own 24 yard line. It's second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Gamecocks fam, my record prediction will drop uh, the week of July 4th. I have not locked anything in yet. That will drop the week of July 4th. So. I thought maybe I could beat that safety. I thought maybe I could beat that safety. I did not. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 25. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and kick. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. What a dime. Look at the touch. Look at the touch on that throw. Oh, my goodness. That's a Heisman Trophy winner right there. That's a Heisman Trophy winner. I've ever seen one right there. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Boot! Hit him! Let's go! Well, we're definitely going past 2 o'clock, so hopefully you guys are cool with hanging out for a little bit as we finish this off. Wow, 35 points in the first half against the number one team in the country. Yep, I'd take this if this was real life. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I would take this. I would most certainly take this. scrambling decides to tuck it in and he's got space uh favorite game cock in the nfl probably debo I mean, he's arguably one of the best players in the league <clears throat> so very fun to watch i'd say, probably say debo great play and really gave his team a boost and he tackles him hard at the 31. From the 35 yard line. Third down. 200 catches. 200 catches. 200 catches. 
Mm, I should Ball is trying to force that. He's trying to force that to Bell. He's trying to force that to Jaheim. Yep. He's trying to force that. It's hard to not just want to go to him every single play. A fourth down. Too, really? Really? How about our defense? Our defense is, is playing their freaking tails off. Our defense is playing their tails off, bro. Come on, come on. Mike 17, Mike 17. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chain. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What are you doing? Somebody jumped early down there. Come on, bro. You know the snap count. Like, you know the snap count. What was the year? What year was the best year for South Carolina, in your opinion, for football? I mean, 11, 12, 13, have your pick. Any, any of those years, really. Any of those years. Any of those years. Deep ball. Cash money! Cash money, Rattler! Pour it on, baby! Cash money, kid! Check the name at the bottom. Breaking Jake Bentley's record. Against Clemson back in 18. Six tutties in a game. Six tutties. Six tutties. Legend. Legend. Just about set to start the fourth quarter. Mercifully. South Carolina. Up by a big margin. He's on the run. Six He's touchdowns. The -yard line. Love to see it. Holy shit. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Omaha. Omaha. Ready. Ready. He's under pressure. Room around the corner. Just take off. Use them wheels, baby. Use them wheels. What we got to have a pretty decent rushing game, right? 107. Just went over 100 yards rushing. How about that? Just went over 100 on the ground. Just went over 100 on the ground, no biggie. What a move. Whoop! What a move. Kids got moves. Kids got moves. Kid has got moves, dude. Are we really, did we really get hurt? Oh my God, did we get hurt? We got hurt! We got hurt! I look okay celebrating in post game though. Or did I just get taken out? Did I get hurt or I get taken out? I hope I didn't get hurt. Bro. I hope I didn't get hurt. I hope I didn't get hurt. I don't think I did, but I hope I didn't. I mean, I'm literally celebrating with my teammates, so. I'm celebrating with my damn teammates, so I hope I didn't get hurt. I don't think I did. Bro, what a game. 430 total yards, six touchdowns. Holy shit. Hey, DJ Game, have fun, man. Getting the credentials. Have fun. That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome for sure. Happy for you. Let's see. Let's see if this post game will show us anything. Let's see if post game will show us anything. What a game, dude. We just beat the shit out of the number one ranked team in the country. We just beat the absolute shit out of them. So. <laughs> what a game. I wonder what we what, I wonder what we will be ranked. Beamer ball. Yes, sir. Beamer ball. Be 
right back, guys. Hold on. Oh, wow. Look, look, look who's on the freaking schedule. Coastal. We got Coastal. Bro, we only moved up to eighth. We just beat number one by freaking... Bro, we just, we just beat number one by damn 40 points. I think I'm okay. I think, I think I'm, uh... I don't think I'm injured. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm injured. I don't know. I, I, I don't see. I don't see anywhere to like show an injury report. So I think maybe maybe they just took me out. We were up by like 35. So they might have just taken me out. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't see any sort of injury report, my guy. So Nathan Moore, I've been good, man. Appreciate you asking. It's been busy rocking. Yeah, we were we were up forty we won forty nine to seventeen, Luke RJ, so probably why. All right, guys. Hey, it's past two o'clock. Appreciate you all tuning in. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad we played that one. Um, guys, again, check out the podcast that dropped this morning. If you have not stayed tuned to all the content, content bleeding out the eyeballs. And again, guys, have a very happy and safe Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man, for another successful week. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Again, y'all take care. Stay tuned to the content. Yeah, and appreciate you. Y'all have a great